New tonight, starting Monday, all Knox County students, employees and visitors must wear face coverings inside buildings. The superintendent made that announcement hours after a federal judge ruled that Knox County Board of Education must enforce a mask mandate. That ruling comes after Knox County parents filed suit in federal court. They claimed the no mask policy put children with weakened immune systems at risk. Reporter Jacinta Rinder spoke to parents and an advocate for students with disabilities about a move that impacts more than 60,000 students, 8,000 staff and hundreds more visitors. Jacinta. There are parents who are upset about their kids having to wear masks, but some believe this is a step towards protecting everyone from COVID-19. Others believe everyone has rights, including those with disabilities. So I am grateful that we have this moving forward. Um, I'm very, very happy to have seen um, the judge take the side of science and protecting the community. Those are just a few opinions of some parents that have kids in Knox County schools. The decision from the judge comes after parents filed suit in federal court claiming their immunocompromised children were at risk. Judge Greer says he considered the Americans with Disabilities Act as the basis for his decision. He says the coronavirus is a barrier for kids who are immunocompromised and they should be accommodated. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the rights of our most vulnerable students. Kim Credich is a volunteer advocate for kids with disabilities and a member of the Knox County Education Coalition. She says she knew the plaintiffs in the case. And there are laws there to protect those rights. Before, Knox County followed Governor Bill Lee's executive order, which allowed almost anyone to opt out. Under this new mandate, any individual with autism or a tracheotomy is exempt. However, parents who have students with autism who can wear a face mask are encouraged to do so. This coming Monday, anyone in a Knox County school building or bus will have to wear a mask. People with documented medical disorders may be exempt pending court approval. Jacinta Render on that story. Thank you, Jacinta, for the update.